What's up, people? We're back again. Right, so, all I've done today is make these. Two of them. Go there. That's all I've done. And, uh, well, I'm going to show you what I've done. And then, once these are in, there's not much more we can do on the back. Can't fit diagonal because the jig's in the way. Really, the jig could come out. I think I want to try and get some of these door bar sections in first. So we can do that next. Let me just explain how I've done uh, what I've done over there. So the problem is, uh, there's no point in me explaining every little detail on this chassis, because this chassis, the main thing I've shown you, the way I do it, not particularly the way everyone else should do it, is how to get your center section right, which is this section here. You know, this, the base, this, and this. That, in a space frame, theoretically, any chassis is the same. You've got your floor that's square, this square, square, that's square. So it's your center section, yeah? So your center section is, it's the important bit, but it's a bit we can pretty much all use, right? So there's no point in me showing you every little detail on this chassis, because I probably won't make another chassis like this. Because I just want to make my chassis the way I like to do them. This one, this replica, it's, I'm not really, probably not going to make another one, to be honest. Because it's not the way I'm used to doing them. So right, so let's talk through it. Because if we all use this, we can stick whatever back end on we want. You can stick whatever front end on you want, right? So me explaining all how I'm doing all the Maguire. Well, this section here, I'm going to explain quite a bit on. Because it's, it's got to be quite strong. And it, in most cases, it's similar. Well, like the back end, all this here is doing is holding the shock absorbers. Really? That, that's the main thing. The main purpose purpose of this and it holds your diagonals so this bar can be here this bar can be here and it can go up there and it can come across here and you can have one go in here so all this it's all there's no point in me telling you that's got 20 degree when if yours is up here it's going to be 90 degree it's like my one up there that's uh this is a 37 degree. But if you're one of these is higher, then that's not going to be a 37 degree. Do you understand what I mean? But all I'm doing is sort of showing you roughly where I should appoint the tubes and how your joints should look. I mean, your joints have to look very quite nice. Do you know what I mean? So once they're in, they're hugging the tubes really well. Yeah. So your fitment is going to be good. Okay. So. Let's see really with this one. You sort of notch your top. Which is the angle that you so desire with that. I mean I've seen some of these where it's down here. Do you know what I mean? So you'd be even less of an angle than me. Well, not far off, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? But because I put mine on the corner, it just happens to be that angle. Well, as long as you use how we did these ones in the earlier video, you just put the tube where you want it, dot where it touches, dot where it touches, join them up. Not true. It's the same on pretty much all the notches. So this one, how I came to know that this angle, yes, I took a reading, but you're gonna know where it's gotta be. So you put the tube where you want it, you touch it where it touches the main tube, pull a line on the end, line on the other end, that's where you're going. Same up here. You'll push the tube up to it, and you'll mark it, 
and then you'll mark the other side. So you're going straight through. Hang on, I'll just get a bit of chew. Oh, let's get a bit of scrap. I really should have recorded more. I'm sorry. So if I want this tube to come up here, yeah, at that angle, and I want it to end there, I'm going to mark it there where it touches, right? And then I've got a mark here, so then I'm going to put a mark opposite here. And that is the direction of travel, yeah? And all I'm going to do is notch the one side. I need a little bit and then fit it, yeah? And just keep going in and in and in and in until you get to your desired angle. And meanwhile, this one, this end is going to be longer. It's going to be going past, yeah? And then once you've got that to fit nice up there and it's coming past there, just draw a line on your length and that's where your notch is going. Yep. It's, it's tricky and time consuming. I mean, I've made a few of these chassis now. I mean, it's took me hours to make those two bars. Hours. But there's no point in me showing you exactly every... everything, in a way, because it's not going to work on your chassis. Do you know what I mean? So, right, anyway, let's get some stuff done. These, have all got, these bottom ones are tacked in. But to tack the next one in, I'm just going to run a weld over the top of this and the top that side. And then they can be tacked in. And then that there needs triangulated and it ain't going to move. And then we'll have a mess around with the doorbar, shall we? Right. Let's get something done. Right, now we're well beyond now. Not fully, but we can do the rest of the welding once he's out of the jig. <coughs> right, so we need to work out where I want my door bars. Um, well, my angle bars. Because they come down from here to there. Ideally, they would be better from there to there. Because then this one's pulling down on this, not pulling on that. But the Maguire had it that way, and it wasn't in the middle. Let's just fight in the centre and we'll work off from there, can't we? So the centre of this. It's not out four foot, so two foot. There's the middle of that. That's something I wanted to do here. I wanted to sort of come from there. Can you see where we're thinking? Right, let's move you around a little oh, bit. What I'd like is you see this angle? If I can follow that down. To be fair, centre does, it's close. So if I read it forward, it's not going to really make that much difference, is it? You know what I mean? I reckon I could move it to about there. Yeah, it sort of follows that. And that one will go there like that. One in the middle there like that. Yeah? You know what? I think we'll do that. It's 
Right, what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow that tube down. Yeah, so if I put that under there, this is just a bit of scrap I had knocking around. That will give us the centre point of about there. Which probably isn't far off. Just in the doorway. Yeah, we'll go there. So, what we need to do. Pretty central, yeah? Beautiful. And then we need to get our angle. Do you know that? 20 degrees. 20.2, 20.1. We'll get 20 degrees. <clears throat> so we're going to notch that out to 20 degrees, right? Got a 45 mil die in. I say it was 20 degrees, wasn't it? And we've only got to notch the one side out. Yeah, because the other side getting cut off square. We'll just notch both, make it easier on ourselves. We've got a bit of extra lens we can play with. There's our notch. And that fits up against there. Yeah. To be honest, I think I could end up with a few more degrees. And now, we're going to cut the top off. So I do is draw around in the pen. Join your look. Yeah. Or just really should do. Touch more front to that. All right, the character is just doing a little bit there, doing a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. In this end. So we're on top, we're going to have to modify that a bit more. What do we put like that on top of the tube? Cut into it. We'll bring it up. We'll bring it up. This is the thing you can just you can seriously overthink things to make it look the best. Yeah. Think I'm gonna 50 50 I think. Put that there. Now we'll give the side.
Right, we'll take that off and see how, see how close we are. Right, so that's the first one in. Not gonna lie, it's a bit of messing around. Not good for there, but we can use it for there. And I've got a whole new bar down. What I might do is make that front one first. And then try and get a one inch hole in for the middle one. Just all as one unit. I'm just drinking me brew. Right. Well, I'm going to call it a day for now. And, uh, we're getting there. Slowly, we're getting there. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.